Hey, it's Dark Jedi, and I have an update video on my Battle Angel Alita collection. Every year or so, I like to go through all my Alita stuff, see where my collection at, is at, and see what I'm missing, see what I want to get next. So, I'm going to start off with the Pop collection. Pretty simple. Have one of every of every one of them. I know I'm missing. Uh, there's an exclusive one that you can only find at like one retailer. I don't have it, but I'm pretty happy with the pops that I have so far. Uh, next, we're going to go through my movie collection, and people don't realize it, but you actually can find a VHS of the original Battle Angel Alita. It was only two episodes long. It really wasn't that good, but the new movie takes a lot of inspiration from this one and the manga, obviously, and if you're kind of confused on some of the pacing of the story or some of the characters, watch the, the uh, two-episode series of Battle Angel Alita, and you'll find some of the characters are done differently in the anime than they are in the comic and it makes a lot of sense if you watch both the anime and read the manga and this is the dvd you can see here the dvd um but yeah so this is the vhs and the dvd of the anime and uh here we have the movie this is came out what last year got the blu-ray and of course, I had to get the steel book, and this was very hard to find. Uh, Best Buy sold out immediately when they went on the market. I was able to get one, really wanted two, one to open and one to keep sealed. I'm kind of conflicted because you're, you're not in this room, but if you haven't seen this in person, the hand is just gorgeous, and inside there's more art. It's even better looking when the packaging when it's out of the packaging so i'm kind of conflicted i just got a 4 4k tv so i want to see it in 4k also so yeah i might have to buy another one i don't know what i'm gonna do next i was able to go uh to the battle angel alita experience and i got some of these alita cans i know they were selling them in stores but i was able to get these free at the battle angel alita experience uh iron city book i i need to get the other one i know there's another one out there but uh, i've read most of this. It's actually neat to read uh, this story. I did mention this earlier, the uh, Passport to Iron City. This was in Austin. I was able to go. It was a lot of fun. Uh, they gave out a lot of little swag. This is just one of the pamphlets that they had at the event. Kind of just shows you the area. It was great. I mean, it really felt like you were in the movie. Uh, you know, it was cheesy, but it was campy fun. It was it was a good time. Well worth the time and, and effort in going. And they give you this little card. So that's that was my... Um, my little card that I made. Uh, and they gave away a little bit of swag. So if you talk to some of the characters there, they would give you little trading cards. And uh, so this was some of the swag that I collected. My favorite one is, of course, Alita. You have her card here. And here's her stats, number 99. Look at that. Power 10, speed 10, brutality 10, cunning only 5. Yeah, she is a little naive. So we have the trading card. We have some swag. One of my friends gave me this. It was a loot pin from uh, Loot Crate. So if you do Loot Crate, one of my friends gave me this. Thank you very much. Uh, now we're going to go to the manga. I have all nine copies of the original print, the large Viz comics that read American style. And then I also have the smaller one. Uh, and there, there's book one. I don't know why it was there. Uh, the smaller one. I'm missing books one and two. I mean, they're really easy to find. I need to, I have them somewhere in my house, but I'm probably going to get a new set of this one as mint as I can get it because these were my everyday reads. Before these got harder to find, I would just read them all the time. They weren't kept in the best condition. Uh, these here, I didn't read through them as much, but they're also easier to find, so I'm not in a rush to, to find them because I can get a complete set, especially now that the new omnibus has been printed i haven't got my hands on the omnibus i've been spending a lot more time collecting the vis select comics which is what we're going to go to next so uh here we have the vis select comic number one this is book one comic one of the alita vis select series so i've spread i've spread out the first complete book and I just love the artwork on this. You really can't find this artwork anywhere else. I'm sure you can look them up online, but just having them on hand is a lot of fun to look through. Alita's gone through a lot of changes through her through her years, and just having all this 
easily to see and, and to take in is, is really nice. Um, this is book two that I'm going through. And Alita starts to take shape in this book. Not a lot of changes, not like the first book. And she stays pretty consistent through the rest of the series. And if you want to see more of these, I actually posted a video of every one of these covers and just kind of talk a little bit about it as I put them away. So we have book three. Book three is actually book three and four in the manga, but they just combined it all into one series in the comics. So this would actually be book five. But here's part four, part five, part six, part seven, and part eight. And my story here is I've been trying so hard to collect all the comics. It, they're very hard. People don't know what they have. They, they're just not kept in very good condition. So I would go to half price books or I would go to comic books and, and just look through their bulk and try to find any kind of Alita comic. And this is what I would, I would find. I would just, you know, dollar here, two dollars there, any kind of bookstore that I could find. And luckily in 2017, when the movie was, was getting ready to come out or announce, I found a vendor that had the complete set for sale. So that's how I got this one right here. And I was able to get the whole set. And, and some of them are lightly red, but most of them are brand new. And I was able to get the whole set for $150. And I just lucked out because this one here, it's actually in really good condition, but I paid 50 bucks for that. And I'm proud to have two copies of the first book, but yeah, big difference. $50 for one, $150 for everything else. So just timing and, and, and being patient and looking for deals as they come up. Um, actually, this is book two right here. I bought a second one. So this is the this is the the first one that I got. And then I got a complete second one from a vendor just recently on eBay for 30 bucks shipped. I mean, that was a great deal. So I'm happy to have two copies of this. I don't know if I'm going to get two copies of the whole set, but I am happy I have two copies of book one and two copies of the complete book two. Uh, this is another thing. I didn't even know this existed. I was just on on eBay looking for just extra th things to pick up. I was able to get uh, this one, uh, these two here from Halloween Comic Fest. And uh, they're apparently hard to come by. I found these pretty cheap. Uh, so great condition. They're practically brand new. And it just gives you a little bit of the new printing of because they were going to do the omnibus at the time. And uh, they were just showing some of the, you know, some of the new uh print of it so it was nice to see it i was able to pick these up very cheap i'm happy i have them uh one thing is i haven't collected the omnibus i was really excited to get it but um it turns out that the translation's a lot different and i'm just so used to the translation in this novelization i don't know if i'm gonna spend the money on it unfortunately it, it looks great and i am a completist but i just don't like the translation I might have to get it just to see how different it is, but I've read some reviews and some people that have read have read through it, they're kind of disappointed in some areas and I don't blame them. Oh, and I forgot, uh when I went to the 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 um the passport to Iron City uh event, uh they gave away coins. So these are actually the coins that they give away and they look really cool and they're they're metal and I have two of them. So I'm really happy that I have these. Uh, and the last thing, it's not technically Battle Angel related, but if you've read Battle Angel and you haven't read Ash and Vector, this is actually really cool. Uh, this is um, this is a unique story. It's only four chapters long, and this is the complete Viz Select comic of it. And then here's the manga. So I have the manga, four comics. Just picked this up. I'm so happy to have it all completed now. And then lastly, I just got some Aquanite. I actually had to get... Ashen Vector and Aquanite together. It was just sold together. But, you know, Yukito uh, Kishiro wrote that as well. So I haven't actually read any of Aquanite. So I'm going to look into it. But uh, I had to buy that to get these here. But I, it was fine. So I got all four copies of Ashen Vector. And I have the manga. And, yeah. So what do you think of my Alita collection? What do you think I should collect next? You're probably wondering where Last Order is and where is Mars Chronicles. Honestly... I've been so focused on just getting all this stuff that I really knew that the La uh, Last Order Mars Chronicle would be there for me. Uh, I'm ready to start buying it. So if you have any recommendations on where to go to grab the next the next stuff, I am ready. I've actually only read maybe one or two books of Last Order. I never finished it. I haven't even started Mars Chronicle. 
but now I think I'm ready. I might my, my Alita, uh, at least the first nine volumes. I think I have everything that I can get now. Also, I'm going to start trying to get the Japanese collections. When I was collecting these here, I saw that you could get a complete Japanese set for not much more money. So I'm thinking about getting that, but I kind of want to get my last order fixed. I want to finish reading that. And I want to finish uh, Mars Chronicle. And I've been collecting since 2003. So don't think this all came in overnight. I just little by little here and there. Just perfect timing on some of these things. And, and none of this stuff is really expensive. It's just hard to find. Like this VHS, where are you going to find that? You know, if you do find it, you'll probably find it for 5 or $10. But it's just impossible to find. Same with the DVD. Um, anyways, I'm so happy I finally have all this stuff. Uh, this is... One of my greatest uh, achievements in life. No, just kidding. No, but it is it is fun. Uh, I've been reading this story since 2003. It was actually the first manga that I was introduced on. I was on a school trip, and uh, this isn't the original one. I actually lost the original one, but I bought this on a school trip. Had nothing else to do. I was on the school bus, just reading it back and forth and back and forth. And um, once I got back from the school trip, I had to buy the rest. And I've been buying ever since. So, um, yeah, I'm happy. This is, this is everything that I have. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think and tell me what I need to start collecting next.